peace, love, and light to you, my Aquarians. Aquarius, this is, you know how I do. Welcome to my channel, I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is I, the Butterfly. And I would like to welcome you to my channel for this Why Did They Ghost You reading. Okay, real quick. I'm asking you, the universe, why did they ghost you? Alright, so note that this is a general reading and because this is a general reading that means that all things may not apply that means that you may listen to a reading first of all time is fluent okay so these are things that may have already come to pass it could be things that are future tense it's all about if you're tapped in and tune in to receive the message and to know if this is your story or not i'm sorry like I'm like like it's like you guys are the last two zodiac signs you and Pisces and we gotta get through it. So what I'm saying to you is that this is a general reading, and because it's a general reading, roles may be reversed. Like you may listen to this like nah, um, that's not me, that's not them, that's me. Do what you do because I'm reading for the collective. Okay, because I'm reading for the collective, I'm asking you to use your sound mind and judgment, listen to the reading, and then you compartmentalize what you believe it is, uh, what it to be your story. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, and if you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once you subscribe, hit that notification button so that you'll get the updates for whenever I upload new content to my channel. And then um, you'll be informed whenever I upload new material. And if you are a subscriber who is returning to my channel, thank you for subscribing to me, sharing your love, energy, love, and light. I truly appreciate each and every one of you because you guys are the reason why I continue to do what I do. You let me know that what I'm doing is helping somebody at some point in time, okay? So I truly appreciate and love and just I'm giving the love back to you guys. Alright, so if you listen to my What's Up With You reading at the beginning of this month, you will know you would know that um I said at the end of August 2020, I'm going to tally up the sign that had the most readings. And I'm going to look at the comment section and I'm going to go to the comment section and I'm going to write down all those names and I'm going to put them in a bag and I'm going to pull out a raffle ticket with that person's name on it to give them a free 20 minute reading, okay? I'm saying like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. But I'm saying that this is something that I'm willing to do for my subscribers to give them a free um, reading. Once I choose your name within the um, comment section, I'm going to tag you. You're going to get a notification that I messaged you and that, um, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to get into words. I messaged you. We'll be in contact through email. You, you. I'm going to ask you what question you would like to have answered for the 20 minutes that I'll be doing a reading for you. And then I will upload that reading to my channel. And I will tag you in it. It will be something that only you can view on my channel. Because you know how YouTube... I don't know if you know, but YouTube is like that. Where you can upload a video... That is exclusively, exclusively for somebody. So, wow, that's crazy. Aquarius, you got, I already could tell y'all going through it. Y'all going through it already. So, um, once you get this information, um, I'll give you that free 20 minute reading to vibe with your sis from another mess. I'm telling you, like, those who get readings from me, they tend to come back to me very soon to let me know that hey yo your reading was on point um so you guys have the opportunity to partake in this free 20 minute reading and i'm probably going to do this like this type of style of you know free reading like every so many months i do have regular clients and i do have new clients that are coming to me but i'm just trying to extend this to you all to let you know that hey i'm trying to get down with y'all okay 
All right, so let's figure out why this person had ghosted you, my dear Aquarians, okay, for the July 2020. I'm going to cut the deck and then we're done with this, okay? Oh, shit. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. I don't know if you can see that, but ten of swords. I'm going to leave this in the deck. One more foul. This is what has already happened. So this person has expressed to you that they are unhappy. They feel so that the union that you have is a lack of success. They no longer want to try to work on this situation. And this person has come to a screeching halt. They are moving on. Remember the overall energy is a 10 of swords. It means that this is done, done, and done. Hold on for a second. Let me turn my computer off. Hold up. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. It's saying that this person has given up on the connection. They are no longer waiting. They are no longer investing any time or energy. They feel as though that this situation between the two of you is unsuccessful. How does this person feel about Aquarius and the decision that they have made to depart, to separate themselves from Aquarius? Or the Aquarius. Wow, shucks. All right, it looks like from what I see so far that this person, you know, um, what had already transpired, this person told you that they were unhappy with you, that they felt as though that the situation between the two of you was incompatible, that they no longer wanted to put the effort in the connection. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, it's saying that things have come to a screeching halt between the two of you. Now, how this person feels concerning you is the knight of cups meaning someone either who does not know what they want within a relationship or is saying that this someone who's just not feeding into the bowl they're not giving any more emotion into the relationship and the connection and then we have the page of swords the page of swords can talk about someone who is speaking the truth unto you or is saying that this person may be spying and found something out but i'm looking at this more so as communication that this person already communicated to you with the seven, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. No, it's between Aquarius and Pisces. You know, you got to hang in there. This person has more than one option. Seven of Pentacles talks about looking at your options. And this person is saying that they have cut off the love towards you because they're looking at their options, that they see somebody else. That may be a more viable option when it comes to being a mate towards you. So this person is holding back their feelings from you. And this person is dissatisfied within a connection with you. And everything has come to a screeching halt. And they no longer see you as being an equal partner with them. That they just they want to detach themselves from you. So what's going to be the outcome of this situation? in reverse and swords and two pentacles all right this person is going to be up in their head concerning you okay like they want their this person is codependent because they don't want to be lonely i have to tell you this in advance um if you are not already oh shucks i hope this hold up I'm not recording on my Bluetooth, so that's why I'm 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 like oh shucks. Some hubbing that my microphone on my phone is picking this all up. What I'm saying is that you have somebody who's codependent upon you. So this person's gonna come back to you because this person 
does not want to be alone. So you're going to be in a relationship with a person who does not want to be alone. It's not that they love you immensely. It's not that they can see the world without you. No, 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 no. This person is with you because the option that they want is not available unto them. So therefore, they are going to come back to you. And they're going to come back to you, but at the same time, the whole time they're with you, they're not going to be happy. This person's going to be in their thoughts. They're going to be, their mind is going to be elsewhere because they got the seven of cups. That they're going to be thinking about somebody else while they are with you. And with the two of of pentacles in reverse is saying that this person has dropped one thing but at the same time they may have dropped out one thing but they're saying that they're being with you out of confu uh, uh, that's a confusion out of convenience because this person really doesn't want to be with you oh shit that's some fucked up shit to say that's why they ghost to you so they've taken a break from you or whatever, but they're going to come back to you because you're an option. You're not the one. You're an option. I need you to fucking pay attention to what the hell I'm saying to you. That this person is with you because you serve a purpose for them. Until the one that they actually want becomes available to them, you are nothing more than an option. So while this person is with you you look at this look at this whole entire spread where do you see the love you don't fucking see any kind of love i'm cussing don't well excuse that because i'm trying to be real with you that this person does not love you this person is only with you because you serve a purpose until what they really want to come into fruition. That is why. So what is your advice I have for you, my dear Aquarians? That's the Hermit C card, Hermit card. Blossom. Wow. Who did I do that had those cards? I think it was, was it? I don't know if it was Sagittarius or Capricorn that had those cards. I'm not certain. Move and sadness. Listen, 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 Aquarius. What I'm saying is, is that you need to fall back from this situation, okay? You have to make a decision concerning the situation and, and confront your darkest fears. It's time for you to move on from the sorry campaign. I'm saying that what I'm seeing right here is that this situation is not going to be fulfilling for you. Not only is it not going to be fulfilling for you, it's also saying that you are very aware of what the situation is. You're not a dummy in all this. You know what's going on. You're just going along to get along, okay? more advice you're, you're really hurt right now you gotta move on and heal your heart four of wands this could be a marriage or what is it what is this eight of cups withdraw emotionally Oh, shut you may have a family with this person obstacles and challenges and then circle chakra facing your fears uh, uh, solar plexus and circle chakra I said circle chakra first and they both came out so it's saying that you have to face your fears and what else prosperity and begin all right so You're holding on to this situation. That's what I'm saying. You're holding on to this situation because you want a higher commitment. But the truth is, is that you're really, you're walking on shaky ground. You're never going to get what exactly it is that you want from this relationship. Emotional withdrawal means to move on from what no longer serves you. That is the Eight of Cups with the Sacral and the uh, Solar Plexus Chakras. 
it's talking about your your fears and also your private parts. You may be trying to seduce this person, put the woo ha on them, the woo ba, after the woo woo wand or the woo woo hoo ha, feminine, you know, genitalia part. You trying to, if you know, put that feminine chemistry on them, and you think that that's going to keep them. The thing is, is that it's not going to keep them because this person you're dealing with is emotionally unfulfilled. An orgasm can be overcome. Okay? Orgasms, they come and they go. This is talking about something far greater. That you guys are just not on the same page. Okay? So, I don't know what the title of this other than... This person's going to come back around to you, and it's not because they actually want to be with you. It's because they're going to be with you until the meantime. Okay? So that is my reading for you, my Aquarians. Oh, don't shoot the messenger. I keep saying, don't shoot the goddamn messenger. This may not be your reading. If it's not your reading, say, hey, goddamn it, that's not my reading. I can appreciate that shit. But um, if it is your reading... I need you to make a better choice to save yourself and not allow this person to have power over you, okay? If this is your reading and you identify with it, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you just like the reading in general, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And then hit that notification button so that you'll have updates for whenever I upload new material. Alright, as always, peace, love. And light to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate you for coming to my channel. As always, peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.